to another episode of How Pinteresting, starring myself, Sam Schickel, and as always, my beautiful mother, Cheryl. And today, we thought we'd kind of step away from the fall activities, fall decor, fall baking, because we're going to be making more fall slash Thanksgiving things um, in a couple of weeks, because that's the holiday that is coming up next. So we thought we might step away for a little bit and make some geraniums. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay. Um, this kind of does have to deal with fall a little bit because in the fall time, plants die, it gets cold out, and it becomes droopy outside. So we thought we would bring a little bit of life inside. And that's why terrariums are great because these are inside plants. And they really don't need much maintenance. They're easy to put together, they don't require a lot of care, and the possibilities are endless. You can add anything pretty much to it, like toys for little kids, or just any knickknack. Um, as well as the plants into it. Just wait till Christmas time. Oh boy. All right, so here's what you're going to need. Jars of your choice, these could be any size. Your succulents of choice also. You could pick cacti or anything else pretty much. Activated charcoal, pebbles, and rocks. I'll show you guys the link below in the description of where I got this on Pinterest. Um, it was from an account called Sema. I think they just put a lot of plant stuff on their account, so that's um, I just typed in DIY geranium, and that was one of the helpful articles that I looked at. You guys can check that out after the video if you want. Let's get started! Okay, so first what you want to do is go from the bottom up. So the first thing you want to put in there is your rocks. These could be of any choice, any color. Um, it just said rocks. So any type of bottom, I guess, will work. Okay, so those go in the bottom, and next what you want to do is put in your activated charcoal. Um, I'm pretty sure this just kind of stays even with the soil. I'm not really sure why. These are capsules. I think you can get activated charcoal not in capsules, but I had them in capsules, so we're just gonna nice and easy open these up and pour these a little, just a little bit over the pebbles, I mean the rocks. Actually, I think what the charcoal does is because there's no drainage, no hole like there would be in a regular potted plant, this helps with the growing of it, like you said. Next, what you want to do is put your pebbles in. These were just extra pebbles left over from our fish tank, so we were very thrifty and just used that. You can also buy them from the dollar store or Michaels or pretty much anywhere. They're just rocks in the plant section. And lastly, the next step you want to do is put your succulents in. So these were mine, and I'm pretty sure those were yours. Yes. You just take them out of the planter. You want that soil in because you don't want to run and get more. I would stick much this, pretty much the soil that's sticking to it. Just let it stick with it. Just keep it nice and natural with it. I mean, we found these in the store just like this, so I don't think they need any more soil than this. You can buy these plants at, I think, pretty much any food store. We well, bought these at Myers. Local you can grocery store, maybe. And I'm gonna put my other succulent in. You guys can only put one in if you want, or as many as you want. Depends on how big your container is, it's up to you. You might have to move around your decor on the bottom to get them to stand up. Okay, so I mean, that's pretty much it to this DIY. Um, I think after we're done, might add a little bit more pebbles just to make it look more cuter on the top. Um, you, can add, you can add whatever you want to make it um, your style, your personality. Um, they just pretty much require the soil. And as far as the care for them, they require just a little spritzing, maybe every two weeks, and that's it. The rust takes care of itself in there because it's a small environment. And how cute is it? It's very cute. And you can put it on a windowsill. I don't even think it requires that much sunlight, sunlight either. Um, but I think it would look best on a windowsill or on a shelf maybe, so wherever you want to put it. I think it just gives life to a room. Thanks for watching. We put out new videos every Tuesday. So join us again next week and see what's in store for then. Alright, bye guys. Bye.